Hi guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing some more FIFA 20 and we are away against Peterborough United. Now as you can see my team is fully rested, so I will be not I will not be I've not made any changes to the starting eleven. Right, let's get into this, shall we? I just almost made a big oopsie, I hit the record button, I was like, oops, I'm not wearing a top. <laughs> so obviously I'm just waiting until this starts, not really interested. Just falls anyway, I've not got a ball. <laughs> okay. Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Martin Let's Tyler see how well we can do against Peter. Smith. EFL League One football for you. It's coming up very shortly. It's Peterborough United against Bolton Wanderers. Yeah, real buzz around this ground. Full house. A lot of interest in it. Hope it doesn't disappoint. Oh, nearly lost the ball then. Eh? On to Buckley. Oh, come on. Offside given. I thought I was onside, then I'll be honest. Oh, that's annoying. I think the linesman got it right. Good screening, and he's kept the ball. Here's Brown. Excellent challenge. Right. Ball back. Let's go. And the lineup for the home side goes like this. Well, it's the old joke, isn't it, Alan? Diamonds aren't forever, but they are for this game anyway, for this manager. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't oh, it? Oh, come on. Got those lads on the side of the diamond quite wide, but I think they might tuck in when they haven't got the ball just to try and stay nice and solid through the middle. Going forward well. News coming in of a goal in the Ipswich Town match. The details from All right, Alan McInerney. Corner we've got to now defend. Ipswich Town. Eight minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Only partially away from danger. Has a go here. He's blocked the shot well. Ah, oh, bollocks. Now Brown. Men in there to try to convert this cross. Not a great cross, really, for the goalkeeper. An easy piece of work. Can they bring the visitors into this game, the qualities that have made them the highest scoring team in the league to this point? Well, they play such an open, expansive game. It does leave them vulnerable at times, but they've just been outscoring the opposition. Oh, that's how to tackle. That's a lucky for us. Low. All right, ball back, let's Perfect. go. Which will not be tolerated in the Buckley. stadium. Thank you. The build-up is patient. Can put them in front here. Oh. Saved by the keeper, but not decisively. Oh, oh for me. <laughs> yes. That is the first goal. Oh, bloody hell, just put my light on. What a goal. Actually shapes the destiny of the day. <laughs> Well, it's like he's not going to go in, is it not? Moving off the ball, tidy finish. This could be one of the goals of the season. Alan McAnally right on the button to tell us about a goal. All right, well, that now puts it into the lead. The first goal of the game. 70 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, That's Alan McAnally keeping us back up to date. He tried to put it into the middle, but he's just put it behind, actually. And it could be a goal kick now. Right, I'm not sure if it was a goal kick or not. Trying to find the opening, which would be so crucial. It's not really a way. Poor clearance. Oh, he equalised. The is a goal for winning the ball high up the pitch. Well, we Damn can it. see it coming. I think. I think even the team that's just conceding could see it coming because they kept on losing the ball in dangerous areas there. So away we go at one all. Keeping an eye on events elsewhere is Alan McAnally, as usual. Oh. Alan, what's happening in your game? It's a goal for the visitors. 22 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Thanks, Alan. Just trying to work into a good shooting opportunity. Put them in front. Oh, there he goes. Bounce and back straight away. 2-1 balls, and that's what he wants. Well, 
Well, I think he's been a bit unlucky, the keeper there. He anticipated the effort. Okay, got well, Buckley has put us back into the lead. So Bolton Wanderers are in front here. Daryl Murphy. Murphy. Oh, that's a really goal. Here's an opportunity, maybe. Oh, three one. Jason Lowe with that turn goal for us. What a double whammy with now I feel a bit more, you know, really relaxed. <laughs> Taking on the defenders. They can be quick on the break now. Here's Buckley. Well, they've lost an opportunity here, trying to break. Up at Sunderland, Alan McAnally is on patrol. Oh. A goal from the Stadium of Light. It's a goal for Blackpool. 33 minutes played. Uh, 1 0. Thanks, team. Alan. York. Murphy. And here's Buckley. Daryl Murphy. Read the intentions. Murphy. The break is definitely on. Going oh, getting four on. That's great. They've emphasised their superiority with the number of goals that they've scored. Clean pair of heels to the opposition <coughs> and a very clean finish at the end of it. Not well, even the half time and because he's one of the quickest players around. One. one of the best finishers too. So they restart again a bit demoralised now, I think, in a game like this. Okay, really strong and tackle, fully. and the ball's gone out for a throw. So let's hear from our man Alan McAnally, who's at the Stadium of Light today. It's a goal for Sunderland. 39 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Well, Blackpool's not winning anymore. Now Brown. Oh, bloody hell. Where's that going? Ah, dickhead. Buckley. Murphy. Daryl Murphy. Murphy. Now, can they make this count? Keeping the ball well in a dangerous area now. Oh, well, oh still got it. The danger. Damn it. Defending at a critical moment. No, it doesn't matter, near enough at half time. That's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. Two minutes of added time. Three. Mason. Alright, ball back. Over to the opposition. Oh, come on, we're supposed to have a good it's run half then. Time here. But oh well, half time, and we are winning 4 1. Interesting and uh, exciting first half there. I'm hoping the second half will be just as good. I've got no need to make any changes to my starting eleven as everyone is looking well, we in good to shape. The second half brings the first half was conclusive, but you don't win the game at half time. Daryl Murphy, Low, Buckley. Low. Okay, danger, nice falling there. It. Low. Murphy. Oh. Quickly. News of a goal elsewhere at the Ipswich Town match, which is being watched for us by Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Bristol Rovers. 49 minutes played. 2-1. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. I think we've seen it. The visitors controlling possession. No wonder they're winning. Sometimes you can have the ball and not be able to do anything with it. But this side have been... It's a good hit. 
Oh, that was shite. It's a difficult technique. Oh, yeah, you've got I'm going to forget catch about those that one. Limit perfectly that's bad. to do the damage. Likes to come into this area. They're wanting further up front, though, as the game develops, I'm sure. Murphy. Low. Well, here he goes. It's good to see a player do this. Oh, what a goal that is. Nice, hard, bottom corner. 5 1 at home. Down Murphy with that one. I'm happy with that. There's a huge golfing class on there, Martin. That's been shown by the scoreline. I have to say, it's so one sided today, but all credit to the team. They're racking up the goals. He might be through. That's oh, not the best shot for them. He went for power, but he's missed the target. Yeah, just decided to put his foot through it when maybe a bit of subtlety would have served it better. Murphy. Well, we're two thirds of the way through the 90 minutes. Half an hour to go. Murphy, and he gets it back. Well played. And shoots. Oh, I didn't think that would have gone in. I was just trying to get us a nice uh, corner. Goal number three here. Dow Murphy wants a game, and that's a hat trick for him. Six one Bolton. What a day he's having. Three goals now. He's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match, and he thoroughly deserves that hat trick. Well, it's not easy. Oh, nearly the tackled they're going to need in these circumstances as they kick off again. Up at Sunderland, Alan McAnally is on patrol. Alan, a goal from the Stadium of Light. It's a second goal for Sunderland. 64 minutes played, 2-1. Well, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McAnally, of course. All right, Traffic ball back. Tackle. Let's go. Well, this is a real shock. You can see it in the faces of the players. And you can hear it in the lack of noise, if you like, from the supporters. Well, those fans can't even be bothered to give their players any stick at the moment. Here's a chance! He's definitely got his goal touch with well, it today. I, 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 I've lost the words on that one. Here's the well, Buckley. It's still time for more to come. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal. Ooh, and well. took it in excellent style. Just I'm, like I'm not arguing here, you know, I'm enjoying it. They can't wait to get the ball back from the kickoff. Try and get another one. Look at the pass getting through with a oh. piece of anticipation. Low. Well, let's hear from our man Alan McAnally, who's at the Stadium of Light today. It's a second goal for Blackpool. Oh, ball off the ball. 2 2. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. They're trying to press it. Substitution now for the home team. Here's Brown. Going forward with real purpose now. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but... Here. Substitution now. to change now. Here's Brown. An attack that wasn't quite done in the end. Buckley. Murphy. And here's Buckley. Ah, oh, tackled. Mason. Here's Brown. Knight. And Jones. Great ball. Aiming at the near post here with a cross. Okay. Well, that's the keeper's ball. Ball back. From the moment the cross. Oh, shit. The keeper's given the ball away. Going forward well. It's gone all the way out for a throw. Nice cross, mate. One of the backup brigades. Right there, can another substitution. Center stage. Murphy. Oh, that was Able not a good pass you. by me. Oh, it could be on. Oh, hey, they've scored one. 7 2. Well, how long's it been on? One or two minutes, I'm not sure, but he's marked his appearance here with a wonderful goal. 
Well, it's not going to be There's only really one but, team but in it, only one lose, team enjoying but, you know, this. They've got another one in, scoreline. it's interesting. It's not a goal that's going to count too much, except in the personal locker of the player who scored it. Um, All right, for coming the supporters, for the I suppose they've seen their team notch again here. Yeah, they have. The real hey, eight two. <laughs> Three of the best. He's made them pay. And that well, but clear there, eight two, hat -trick. and it's his hat trick. What a day he's having. Three goals now. He's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match, and he thoroughly deserves that hat trick. It's a tough game for the team that are trailing. They're out of the contest, really. They're just playing for pride. They're really being torn apart. Murphy. Daryl Murphy. That's straight at the goalkeeper. It's never going to work. Easy say. We've done that anyway. Two, they're not coming back from this. Now, we've only got four minutes remaining in the match. Made a quick interception. Over the top of the defenders, and he could be in here. Striding forward, purposefully. Well, poor pass, good interception. Take your choice. Oh, that was shite from me. We've got two added minutes. All right, two minutes added on. And here's the shot. Bad Hasn't shot by them. The keeper. Reed. And it's night. And it's come to an end now. All right, it's finished. And Bolton will just have one eight two. An absolutely fantastic ten goal thriller there. Mm, decent amount of possession. Ten shots on target. Fourteen in total. Now let's get on to the post-match interview. Just a couple of questions for you. It's asking why I didn't get to start. I'm sick of asking, uh, answering that question. Uh, well, he is continuing his hot on the phone. I asked why his performance deserves the praise. Congratulations, your win streak is extended for today's match. How long do you hope to keep this on? and focus on long-term success. Let's just say that. Thanks so much for your time. That's all the questions we have for you. Okay. Right, well, if you guys enjoyed this, do not forget to subscribe. Your notifications turned on. I'll be back to another video. Thanks, guys.